Hey guys, welcome back to Sam Industries. Today, really quick video on how to install roof rack on your Festiva. So this is the Sport Rack SR1003. It's a great rack, fits the Festivas really well, can easily hold like 200 pounds all day, cross country, no problem. They're almost always available for less than 200 bucks. Sometimes they go on sale for like 130. It's a great deal. I think they're rated for 130, but we've pushed them past that all the time. They work great. Uh, you can see the back one I've already got on here, super secure. Like I can, I can't push it forward or back. I can easily like lift the whole car up by it. They lock on so that nobody else can steal them. Super cool. So to put them on, I'm gonna start with the front one. You got a little spread out right now. You can see basically you have a bolt here that holds the slider on and then a bolt down here that adjusts the clamp. I put them both really loose so that one can slide freely. This one almost all the way down. You can kind of see there's a plastic nut in there that lets you change the angle and the foot pads also have some angle adjustment. Out of the box, go ahead and make sure that the rubber foot pads are fully in these little holes so there's little nubbins that stick through. Sometimes the box are kind of popped out. Just make sure they're all popped back in. Super simple. I'll go ahead and toss this one on. And now the Festiva actually gets thinner as you go towards the back, like a lot of cars do just for aerodynamics. Uh, so the numbers you use for how far this is gonna be depends on exactly where on the car you put them. Personally, I like to center it up with the straight part of the window. Same for the back one, straight part of the window right here in the center. If you go a bit forward, you're gonna make it a little wider. The closer you go to the back, you're gonna make it a little thinner. Right now, my back one's set to 14 on both sides. My front one's usually in about 15. But when you're setting it, just for reference, I like to keep the pad kind of half on the black strip here and then the other half on the roof. So that helps keep it so that it doesn't want to squish the roof too much, you know, because festive roofs are pretty soft and flexible. Uh, if you see it, you know, starting to bend a little bit when you tighten it, that's completely normal. And for the most part, I found it's not permanent when I take them back off, it usually pops right back out, no big deal. But I kind of I like to let it sit in that black spot. So for my front ones, I like to have it about 15. And so here's the thing that a lot of people, so if you look in here, you can see basically the number shows up right there. So it's 15 right now, right in the little center display. What you have to do when installing these racks is this top part must be fully tightened before you do anything to the bottom part. So we're gonna tighten that top part first. So we're gonna come up here, try to get the sun out of the way. Now I'm gonna come over here to the side of the car, just sight down it, make sure it's nice and straight. It looks like the front one a little too far forward so i'm gonna come over here and just scoot it back a little bit that looks pretty good and same thing i'll move that one in so it's at 15. and it'll include an allen key i just like using this for the video because it's a lot faster and now before i tighten the clamp down what you want to do is make sure you actually open the front door real quick because you'll see the clamp sits kind of right here where the door seal is. So open it up, get the door seal past it, put the clamp kind of where it needs to be because it's got some rotation and stuff. It just kind of will grab that edge right there. Go ahead and tighten that up. Actually, I'm going to loosen that some. You can see where it grabbed the rubber kind of funky. So back off a tick. I'm going to go to the other side, tighten the other side up a little bit more on its own first. Just gonna walk back and forth a couple times, do it in steps so it's nice and even. There we go. Then back to the driver's side. Tighten it up. And then I'm gonna give it a test, make sure it's strong. And as you can see, like I cannot push that back at all. So I'm gonna call that pretty good. Go ahead and close the door. You'll see the seal now go right around that. No problem. Same on this side. And we're done. That's it. One super secure roof rack installed. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. See ya.